The EP310 PON optical power meter is a perfect installation and maintenance tool for EPON, GPON, and BPON networks. The EP310 uses pass-through measurements, which gives it the capability of measuring all PON signals simultaneously. The upstream signal is a 1310 nanometer wavelength, and the downstream signals are the 1490 and 1550 nanometer wavelengths. The EP310 is small in size with a solid lightweight chassis, making it very easy to carry. The low power consumption means the unit can operate for about 60 hours on only two AA batteries. Before operation, the ONT and OLT ends should both be connected to the meter. The ONT connection is on the left and the OLT is on the right, under the protective cap on the top of the meter. Turn the meter on using the orange power button. Once the unit is turned on, the same power button can be used to toggle the auto shutdown on and off. If the icon is visible on the top left of the screen, it means the meter will be in the auto power off mode. The screen backlight provides better screen clarity for interior use. The backlight can be toggled on and off by pressing the green backlight button. The default level measurement units are in dBm. Pressing the dBm watt button will change the units from dBm to nanowatts. A threshold is for the purpose of notifying the user of pass, warning and fail values for the preset levels you have chosen. To modify them, choose a threshold number, select the threshold button and toggle the left and right arrow to show the threshold value that you need. For this training we will be using threshold 1. Now press the enter button to go into that threshold and set the values. The first wavelength is 1310 the top value which is the pass value and will be flashing. The next one down is the warning value and then the fail value. Change the values with the left or right arrow keys. To move to the next value press the ref tab button. Remember the enter button selects the wavelength and the tab button toggles through each of the level values values are automatically saved. Select which threshold profile will be set to default. In this example, profile 2 has a check mark next to the number, which means it is currently the default profile. To change this default to profile 1, select the profile and press the store key. At this point, the display goes to the absolute measurement mode, and then the profile has been set. Note that the check mark now is set to Profile 1. To exit the Threshold Setting menu, press the orange key. From the Absolute Measurement mode, select the PF button, which means Pass Fail. The LED associated with a specific wavelength will turn red, orange, or green, indicating if the level is passing, at a warning level, or failing.